Welcome back everyone. As you guys know, I love buying used phones and used technology, all that stuff. And there's so many different pros and cons for specific devices. And when it comes to down to that, there's specific problems that you have to watch out for these type of devices as well sometimes. And especially if you're buying these in the used market, it definitely kind of helps if you have some type of buying guide, which I don't really consider this a buying guide, but in my experience for me buying these specific devices, especially in iPhone XS, there are a couple things to kind of watch out for before you go ahead and purchase it, first of all. And whenever I buy a specific iPhone XS or when I have bought them in the past, these are some things that I try to make sure that I check off before I purchase the specific device, especially from a used device seller or whatever. Now the one thing and the very important thing with an iPhone XS specifically that I always look out for before I purchase it and the same thing goes for an iPhone X or XS Max or whatever is to verify that the display did not have a third party reinstall. So what this basically means is that maybe somebody, you know, the first person who bought it, maybe they cracked the display, they found like a local cell phone guy to fix it and they just bought a panel from online and they just replaced it themselves, that's okay. And with my iPhone XS, this has a third-party panel on it. But as a main phone, I would not recommend people to buy a specific iPhone XS with a third-party panel installed. The panel isn't as good as Apple's main display, so if they replace the display from Apple, then obviously it will look much better. But also, the Face ID does not work on, I think, a majority of those third-party panels. And a great way to check if the panel is third party is to look at it and to see, first of all, if the panel actually looks as good as an iPhone 10 or 11 Pro panel. If it does, then another way to check is to, you know, check if Face ID works. If Face ID fully works, then it's probably a good panel, you know, probably there's nothing wrong with it. However, if Face ID does not work, or if even in the description of the bio or whatever, it says the Face ID does not work, then it might mean that it has a third party panel installed. So that's one thing you want to check out for. That'd be the first thing I would look for. Also, any screen or display or gla or cracks or anywhere around the whole entire body. If there's cracks on the back or on the front, obviously, if you're getting a cracked phone, it doesn't matter. And you also want to check out for burn-in on the display. Now, with the iPhone XS, you really, there's not a lot of, you know, burn-in on it. And the first of all, it's pretty good overall. Apple has done a really good job at engineering these panels with Samsung or Samsung engine in them, whatever. And they've made really, really good panels that have very little burn-in. But you still have to kind of be careful. You want to make sure that the panels themselves do not have a bunch of burn-in and all that stuff. If you're okay with it, then go for it. But if you're trying to get at the best quality, that's something you kind of have to consider. Now, as of right now, me making this video, I probably would not pay over $400. I would pay around $400 for the base model of an iPhone XS. I feel like that's a pretty good value. However, once these new iPhones come out, the iPhone 12 series, I would expect these things to go down to about $350, maybe even a little bit cheaper than that, just because there's going to be so much of an influx of iPhones coming. We're getting like four new iPhones coming out, and then a lot of people are going to be selling off their older iPhones. So there's going to be a huge supply of it, and maybe not that much of a demand. So these things might go down to like 350 in my opinion very very soon maybe even cheaper than that so right now 400 seems to be a good price in the used market and i would definitely double check to see you know if and i would definitely try to keep my iphone 10s if i just bought it in really good condition so i can resell it later on now the last thing i'm going to hit on is actually probably one of the most important things that's actually affected me quite a bit now with a lot of people who buy iphone 10s or just any iphone in general sometimes they're hoping that there's still apple coverage on it or apple care plus or whatever so they can go ahead and you know if there's a problem with the phone they can just take it to apple care and you know apple will fix it if they're still under warranty but i want you to keep in mind that there's kind of an issue with this and, and the issue lies within the water damage seal of this specific phone so if an iphone 10 has even though it has ip certification it's not waterproof if these specific phones do get water within them and if the apple person detects that there's water damage they're not going to replace the phone because i don't know why they do it it's happened to me a couple of times it's so annoying and i wouldn't know that you know i can't tell if these phones are water damaged i wasn't told about it and then i find out later that i can't even replace any of the parts and it's kind of an annoying thing but again it's one of those things that you're just gonna have to kind of you know talk to the seller about and verify you know whether they're are issues or not if that specific phone does have water damage you're probably better off not buying that specific device and getting another one that does not have any water damage on it and that's a huge thing you have to consider if the phone has water damage you're probably better off getting another one but if you're okay with it then i guess keep it if it's still working but those are just a couple things that i would recommend you guys to consider if you're trying to purchase an iphone 10s in 2020 if you guys have any questions or anything like that let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so me so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel more importantly everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then